Hello all, today in this particular video, I'm going to show you how you can import a data set from your Google Drive into the Google Collab environment. Now, people, if you don't know about Google Collab, Google Collab is basically, a, you know, it is same like a Jupyter Notebook, you not install anything in your local machine. Instead, Google provides this feature that is hosted in a server. Uh, it will basically be like a Jupyter Notebook where you can execute your commands and you can basically execute your any kind of machine learning use case and deep learning use case. So today in this particular video, I'll be focusing on how you can upload the data set from Google Drive into the Google Collab environment. So for first to begin with, what you have to do is that, suppose you want to solve any problems in that particular use case from Kaggle, it may be anything. You just download that particular data set. Now let me just give you an example. I was trying to you know, solve a problem statement which is called as malaria detection. Now for malaria detection, what I've done is that I've downloaded the images from uh, the Kaggle environment. And then from the Kaggle, I've downloaded these images and this particular images I've structured into various categories and I have uploaded in my Google Drive. So here it is. First of all, I've uh, imported all, I mean, I have uploaded all the images in the Google Drive. You can see that this, this cell images basically has train and test folder. Inside the train folder, I have folders like parasite images, Okay, and then I also have uninfected folder. This is basically our normal cells images. Now I'm going to implement a very small deep learning example, you know, and I'm trying to do that with the help of transfer learning to check whether the person is having malaria or not. But this I've still not yet completed. I'm still on my way to do it. Okay, but before this, I'll just show you how we can read this particular data set into our Google Collab environment. Now, to begin with, what you have to do is that, first of all, you open your Google Collab environment. To open the Google Collab environment, you just search for Google Collab. Okay, you have to sign in for this and just click on this. Then automatically, it will just, you know, it will show you that you can save your information, you can save your file in Google Drive, you can save your information in GitHub. So wherever you want, you can basically share, save it. Okay, and you can also create different types of Python notebook. Okay, you can create a new Python notebook. You can, uh, you know, you can also create the Python notebook with respect to 2.7, 3.6, or 3.7. So that you have to do it first of all. Again, to begin with, guys, what I'm going to do is that you can see that here is all my files. Suppose I want to create in Google Drive. I'll go into this Google Drive and I'll rename my file. I'll go and click on New Python 3 Notebook and I'll just click on this. As soon as I click on this my notebook file will get opened as you can see over here. Okay, now this is the thing. As soon as you open this particular file, you will be seeing a left side window, which if you click on that, that will just open it. You just go to this files. Now in this files, initially you will just have this sample data. Okay, you'll just have this sample data. This sample data is basically your normal data, which they have given some examples, even that Google has only uploaded. There's some housing test data.csv housing underscore train dot csv these are all files uh, you know you can use it and try to predict the house price itself but now suppose if you want to you know retrieve the data or uh, whatever data that i have uploaded in this google drive i want in this particular google collab environment how do i do that so let me just close this now you can see that you can only see one folder over here right so uh, what i'll do is that i'll just close this and i will go and execute this particular command now you can see this command, this command basically says from google.collab, I'm going to import the drive. This drive basically means my Google drive. Okay. And by default, the Google drive uh, path will be content slash drive. Okay. So as soon as I execute this, you can see that uh, it will take some time to execute and it will just give me a URL in this particular browser. Okay. Now in this particular URL browser, I'll just click this. Okay. I'll just go to my Google account. Once I go to my Google account, it will just ask for my approval. I'll just click on allow. As soon as I click on allow, you can see that I'm having this particular link, right? This link I have to copy or this particular code I have to copy and I have to just paste it over here and then I press enter. Now, once I press enter, it will then verify whether I am the person exactly who's actually trying to retrieve my drive by that particular code itself. So now you can see that I can mount my content drive. Now let me just open this particular folder and see my file section. Now if you go and see, and I've just refreshed it, you can see my drive section. 
inside my drive you know i have created one google collab notebook files and here is all my files that are present you know and this cells images you can see that it is present over here and here are all my images inside my parasitized folder and uninfected folder so inside this are all my images present now the next step is that i need to read these images from here right because i need to implement a deep learning model saying that whether the person is having malaria or not so first of all i need to install keras okay now see guys you are not installing this whole google collab in your local machine this is running in the server itself right so in order to install the keras you just have to use the command simple command uh, pip install minus key q keras okay as soon as you do this it will get installed okay then you can check it out by importing the keras okay and whether it is working fine or not or whether the installation has happened perfectly or not now you have import keras you can see this over here it has been imported this is just my deep learning code again um, i'll share you all this code in my next video because i'm still in my process of completing this mal malaria detection using deep learning it is still on the you know training phase so here now everybody look into this here i have set my training path as content drive my drive collab notebook cell underscore images train how did i get this particular path now suppose you want to put some path from this particular google drive you just go to that folder suppose i want this train path okay you just go to the folder you just right click in like it right click it and you just uh, copy this particular path and you just paste it over here you know so this becomes my training path right this becomes my training path similarly for the test you just right click over here and just copy the path and you just paste it over here that's it so once you do this now you have your path of the data set that is put up in uh, your google drive this is my vg16 code that i have basically written now you can see over here is that uh, okay this is my model summary i'm not going to explain much because in my next video i'm going to explain you all this code but just i wanted to show you how to read the data set now i am going to use something called as image data generator okay in this we will be reading the data set from this particular path that is the training path and the test path now you see this after executing this you can see i am having 2599 images belonging to two classes from my training data set that many images i have uploaded it and i have 1191 images belonging to two classes that is from my test data set now after this what will happen is that i'm i'll run my model i'll check my accuracy you can see that i am still in my process of running it and it has just completed three parks you can see i am getting 94% accuracy this i am just doing in my local machine but later on i'll try to integrate that in google collab so uh, this is how you read your data set now not only this particular data set you can read any csv file for your machine learning for your deep learning you just upload in the google drive so you'll be getting around 15 gb of free space in google drive so whenever you want to implement machine learning or deep learning can use it now what is the use of google collab that is the main thing now guys you see that you know processors are very very costly right when when you when you want to implement a uh, deep learning you basically need gpus or tpus right so for that case what google has done is that they provide you gpus okay you just go to the run time and you just go and click on ch change run time here you have a feature called as hardware accelerator okay you can select gpu this gpu will be pretty much fast where your installation and very code running will be very very easily done for a medium sized data set okay and it will not be that super fast also but yes you can run your code into this and you can get your code done with respect to this particular statement so this google collab has been provided by the feature of google please use this try to use this you'll get a lot of features you have different types of runtime environment you have runtime environment of python 3 python 2 you also have hardware accelerator of gpus and tpus also and if you want none that basically means that it will use the cpu of that particular machine itself which is hosted in the cloud okay this particular ram and all will be hosted so i hope you like this particular videos guys in my next video i'm also going to show you how to do malaria detection with the help of deep learning and then i'm just uh, the training is going on you know i'm getting the accuracy of around 94% um as soon as the training gets over i'll be uploading that video i hope you like this particular video guys make sure you subscribe the channel if you are not already subscribed um yes i'll see you all in the next video never give up keep on learning thank you one and all god bless you all